the yellow. Maybe. No, he's gonna opt. He's gonna try to trade it. Uh, forces for the red. Nice play there. So yeah, stack for stack, 100, saved. 100, and 100, 100. So really, it's uh, anybody's game. Every kill, of course, has to do the work. Nice initial rocket. Um, a bit of that mega shaved off. Every kill. Gonna try to force it here, and we do see a mid-air rocket. Every kill down to 41. He does land a rail and misses the follow-ups. Can't go in for this red, and quite frankly, this is so risky. He does uh, sit back and just take the shots. Jovire not picking up the right armor as it spawns means that Everkill is able to get a clean railgun shot to tie the game with one minute left to go. Fantastic work there, although I think a bit of a blunder by Jovire to not uh, secure that red before moving forward, given how weak he was. Yeah, and he kind of passed on the Mega there. He went back for the YA, and, you know, he was at, you know, maybe a second late, and Everkill kind of snuck in. Um, it, you know, Jovire still might be able to come out with a frag here. Um, and if not, it goes to overtime. Um, he's got a better stack, but he, he did kind of give away the Mega in that last exchange. Trying to remind people that we have two streams going tonight, high quality and low quality. So if it's buffering for you on the Quake Live TV stream, please go to the low quality link that I've just pasted in IRC. We are tied with 10 seconds left to go. Everkill backing off with 50 health, able to get the red armor and dodging rockets. Although he's slammed against the back and Jovar picks up an impressive, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it. Wow, Jovar oh, wow. getting the Hail Mary Railgun pair. And that will win him the pair of maps. Fantastic work there. No uh, third map for these two. Fantastic work. Jovar uh, gets his first pair of maps in the group stages under his belt. Yeah, I mean, seven seconds left. Uh, Jovar definitely had the stack advantage. Wow, that was that was amazing. Those two rails. He, he A couple of times there, he bounced them off the jump pad there and just kind of like... <laughs> Uh, you know, he just he took, took free shots and, and let him go up and down on the jump pad. So, it was a slow game, but it was a really good finish. Dang, Fiend. There it is. Yeah. Fiend, uh, an old school player. Uh, picked up, I think, uh, like, eighth place at QuakeCon a couple of years ago. Um, also was part of the, uh, I think, Mr. Johnson CTF team in 2008 I think it was ping is still bad the hang says yeah I mean since this is group stage it's not like there are brackets to worry about uh, there just are games to be played so uh, I'm all for that let's go ahead and, and cover uh, fiend uh, the hang or fiend gelisac wh whichever or it might even be uh, gelly gela dkt so it'd be good to see Destruct uh, throw down. I'm up for whatever, yeah. you know. It, they've been doing a pretty good job of scheduling, and um, I don't know what's going on with the Hank's connection. Right now he's got like 160 ping, so... Um, but my question is, do you think he could beat Fiend with like the 120 ping? Probably not, no. right? Yeah, it really <laughs> will, make a, will make a huge difference. So, all right, guys, we're going to see yeah. what we can do about getting the next match underway. It looks like we're going to try to give the Hang a little bit more time for his... Uh, Ping to settle, and hopefully that will uh, that will be something that, that we can that we can bring. So. Well, well thanks everybody for, right. for waiting. We're just sorting out the hang ping issue and uh, finding servers, but uh, looks like everybody's happy now, and we can see Fiend and Gelly go at it. And I'm excited. I think Fiend has been really, really, really good lately, uh, and I think it'll be a close game. Um, but uh, you know, we know Gelly's and like an aim freak. He's 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 got such a good rail and, and LG and stuff. So you never know with him. I've been pretty fortunate where I build my computers uh, component by component, and I, like, I start fight. researching for over six months. And considering that we've had, I think, two. Three. Technical issues that were born of my equipment, uh, that's not too bad. We've gone live! Gelisag facing off against Fiend. And, uh, on Hectic. On all places. You have taken the lead. Wow, very quick yet. early frag there. Uh, 
weird play by Fiend, jumping right into Gelisax, ready, willing, and waiting Rocket. And wow, even, he even uh, is able to muscle oh, off and use his LG to get frag number one for, him, uh, for himself. We are tied. Over to Fiend's point of view. That was crazy. Gela got jump on red and Mega came back out. Fiend basically LG'd him off the jump pad. Uh, just non-stop stream and, and got him down dead with that, got that first frag for him. You have taken the lead. Yeah, and the lack of timing there. Gelsack not knowing exactly when Mega comes up, Fiend is able to collect. Now has uh, frag number two to his name. Make it three. Wow, this time we see the roles reversed. <laughs> Gelsack diving head first into rockets and down he goes. Yeah, so Mega's up in just a couple of seconds. I think Fiend's gonna get this Mega and might be able to get a jump on Red if he can get out of this little uh, prison down here. Yeah, it's a very but dangerous Gela's spot to be. Yeah, Especially when you... Yeah, opening with Rockets at that distance, a weird choice by Fiend. I, I like the switch up to the real gun, but uh, when you whiff one, you leave yourself uh, really exposed to a lot of LG damage, and he's lost all of his armor at this point. We can see Gelisag happily collecting whatever he can up that's up on the map. Red armor is the item to play for. Gelisag trying to get position. But, uh... Oh, interesting. Really kind of took his time to get over here. Fiend is set up to try to do damage. Everything misses, though. Yellowstack follows up with LG. Gonna follow up with some more. Trying to chase and cut some around. He knows that he has the Mega Health, but uh, at this point, he can sit tight and try to land it in. So I want to say thank you yeah. to a very beautiful woman who's been handing me water all night. So thank you, Nikki. Yeah, can we see a tie? He really hesitant to go down there and get that Mega, and I think he's kind of been like, all right, instead of getting Mega, I'll just do the damage. It's not even worth it uh, at this point. And he's doing a really good job at making, uh, getting a lead back in and uh, getting back into this game quick. Yeah, I mean, you know, Galasak isn't as comfortable uh, and experienced in 1v1 versus some of his uh, teammates, but he's certainly showing that he can uh, put the pressure on Fiend in the opening minutes of this matchup. Once again, Fiend finds himself trapped at the Mega Jail. <laughs> and Yell is just going to try to finish the job, although he's walking into Rockets. 19 health as he gets the frag number 5 on the board for him. And oh wow, he even forces Fiend off of the Rockets. And that's easy frag grab for Gelisak. And this is quickly turning into a very scary setup for Fiend who has to now come back three frags, and um, really the only thing that he's had going for him is he's able to collect Mega, but at every single time he tries, Gelisag is there to lay down the law. There it is, Mega Health. Yeah. And there it is once more, Gelisag trying to lock Fiend in, but this time Fiend's able to turn the tables with Lightning Gun that tears Gelisag a new one, and he's running for his life back to the yellow armor. Red is up. Ro the rockets Gelly are wide. The mega. Yeah, the rockets are wide for Fiend, but the real gun is good. Gelisag coming back for more and comes back for the kill. Fantastic shot. Yeah, I'm going to call that the Mega Jail from now on as well. But yeah, Gela won't even touch it. He knows he'd rather get the like 150 damage off than, than try to even get that Mega. Which I think is a, a bad idea. I think you need to play it situationally, and Gela needs to get some of those Megas. Because... After a kill, you can make a clean grab. Nice shot from Fiend. Five health for Gela, and he will finally go down seven to four. Make it seven to five. Quick little spawn frag puts Fiend back into the running. Let's go take a look at his point of view. He's got a 100-100 stack. Has he learned the lesson? Mega is up. Actually, he gets away kind of cleanly this time. And he wants yeah, to go in for the kill. Push. Yeah, smartly so. Gela didn't have anything on him, and Fiend still had an enormous amount of stack. Uh, you know, easy decision to make. 7-6. to six. Fiend's brought it back. 
Yeah, I think Gel is gonna need to look to get a couple of these Megas now. He was afraid of it there for, um, you know, three or four grabs, but now he's gonna really need to make a play. Fiend trying to use the openings in the in the floor and expecting the uh, teleporter play. It comes after he's laying down the spam. Oh, Fiend hears the teleporter move from Gelosag. He's like, oh, wait a minute. You're behind me and you are trapped. Enjoy. 7 to 7. Wow. Uh oh. Make it 7 to 8. 30 health. Fiend survives. He needs to get. Uh oh. He's got to watch out for the MG, but he needs to get. Uh, should be 50. Yeah, there it is. The finger rail that could be costly. He hears behind him. And he's able to dodge a rocket that would have put him down. So, up by one. Fiend, honestly, is not in the best of positions. He is able to collect Mega and get away. Eh, not, not, not the cleanest, I guess. But not terribly. He needs a little bit of armor. The rockets are decent enough to force a mutual frag. Nine to eight. Fiend still. Uh, ooh, look at this. LG versus MG. Interesting choice by Gala to stick around. Fiend's using that little teleporter trick. He goes to the bottom, then he goes back through the teleporter to get to the bottom, and it's quite a bit faster to get Mega. I don't know if Gelly's really picked up on that yet or has been using it, but I think if he, he could utilize that, he might be able to get a couple of these Megas out. Fiend finds himself in a familiar position. He's getting a launch. He's lost his Mega, 100 health. He misses the jump to red armor, and this might be the fatal blow here. He jumps across, and the LG is out for Gelasak, and that will tie us back at 10 and 10. We're going to watch Gelasak. What is he about to pick up another frag? Yes, it is. Two minutes and 36 seconds on the clock, and Gelasak has just vaulted himself into the lead with, again, another, I think, mistaken timing by Fiends to go for the Mega Health and lock himself into the jail. There it is. Gelasak now using the uh, double maneuver to get the Mega Buds. Uh, yeah, really. We're seeing that the timing for that item is becoming so costly for Fiend, and um, you know, it seems like he's not able to grab it at an opportune moment. And it's really, honestly, yeah. at this point, you could say it may have cost him the game. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it. I think it might have here. And you, you just can't touch the mayo without taking, you know, 100 or 150 damage there um, against your opponent. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, a couple of times he got a clean grab, but I think 9 out of 10, he would touch that yeah. mega. Yeah, um, it's, it's definitely like a 80% you know, type thing. He's basically caught with his pants down. Gelsak is running. We have uh, nothing up on the board for him to work for. Red in 10. Fiend is the guy behind, and he's getting hit from above. Uh, he kind of is like, okay, that, that hurt a little bit. Let me back away from that corner. He is three frags down, a minute and 20 left to go. He's got to make a move here. He's going to do a little hop behind the teleporter to try to get Gela to uh, force his position. It does not happen. Fiend is going to attempt to get this red and then go on the warpath. But if he gets railed off, Fiend is actually going to be in a bad position. He's got a 100-100, but that is it. Uh, Gela with no armor. And Mega, he's able to get it very quickly. Nice maneuvering there. And uh, Fiend now really needs to catch his opponent. Very, and, like He needs to do it now. The clock is really putting him in a terrible position here. And wow, Gela has found a way to run. Nicely done. Yeah, he did get away with the Mega there. So um, he's got enough health to play defensive for the next. Nice. Uh, Perfect. Game. Great move. And that one in the game, honestly. Uh, think about the accuracies, 27% yep. LG, 26 rail, 29 rocket for Gelasang. Fantastic work, So, uh, two frags, 20 seconds, I suppose it's possible if you get a spawn. Let's, uh, let's stick with it here, Gelasang. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can he get, can Fiend find him? Wow, Fiend's rockets are way off. Gelas aren't much better, but I think Gelas survived long enough, five seconds. Fiend searching, three, two, and one, and Galasak will win this by one frag. One frag, ladies and gentlemen. Good times.
<laughs> definitely, definitely a really intense match and a lot of frags. It's, I like the map. I don't know what to say. I've played yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, like I like it too. I like it too. I think that uh, it has a lot of.